The Geelong Region Local Learning and Employment Network, or the LEN, has been working with secondary schools in Geelong to build skills in the use of student data and professional feedback in order to change the way schools operate so that the outcomes for students are improved. Its major strategy for doing this has been the Expanded Pathways Improved Transitions, or EPIT project. The EPIT project encourages schools to examine the way they influence and encourage students in making a positive transition from school to desirable post-school destinations. This series of videos explains how to use student data to improve the feedback that teachers can give to students and parents. Early on in the EPIT project, the participating schools recognised the need for up-to-date student data that was readily accessible. Researchers like John Hattie from the University of Melbourne's Graduate School of Education had emphasised the importance of feedback for students and the schools had seen what places like Fitzroy High were doing with student data. Fitzroy High in some sense had a, had a unique situation that they were starting from scratch. They, had, they were reopened um, so, and they had the brief to uh, have a clean slate and say okay we're going to be using student data as a major um, focus of the development of our, our teaching and learning program. Theirs was based on an Excel sort of spreadsheet arrangement and they were tracking students right through from Year 7 and they were introducing it into Year 11 and 12. So the group took a visit up to there one day uh, and spent a day looking at the program, talking to students, talking to staff uh, and we came away thinking actually we're on the right track here. We think we could probably do it a little bit better and we think that by going to a web-based program uh, it would be um, it would be live, it would be immediate, um, and it would provide us with um, feedback fairly quickly. The EPIT schools have set about developing their own student data tool, Real Time Student, an enhancement of existing data systems that is live and web based, so it can be implemented in any school regardless of the school's operating system. This tool, which provides accurate data and feedback, will assist teachers to support student progress. Um, Geelong High School was involved at the very early stages. Um, we had a professional learning team who was looking at this whole issue of having various data sources in the school. We had two house leaders and a careers counsellor on the team. And they really wanted a way of being able to pull that data together in one place rather than go to five different places and then be able to use that data when they're talking to students. So they had reached a point where they knew what they wanted, um, knew the sort of had a bit of an idea about how it would look, but really needed sort of collaborative partners to move forward with it. And that's, I guess, where the LEN became involved. And, um, and then the other people um, partnered us through the LEN um, and EPIT to develop real-time student to where it is now. Real-time student has the core data sets available on a screen dashboard and these sets are those identified by people like Deb Hull to be the key indicators of risk. What the real-time student is, will allow us to do is we can look at, at risk students, uh, look at their learning needs, maybe their medical needs, and then at the same time have sitting next to that will be their academic performance and then seeing that there is actually a correlation between, between the two. So that if a student's missing a lot of school because of medical needs or because of uh, particular uh, uh, at-risk uh, issues that have been identified, that's going to show up in our data and we can actually see that much easily, which then can allow us to identify um, more easily what we need to do for that student. Real-time student also assists teachers to effectively increase students' knowledge and use of the potential pathways between school, vet and higher education. Well, for us at Geelong High, we're a bit unique in that we have a Smart Dreams program, which is a Year 7 to 12 careers program where students um, in the home groups um, work on career development um, right the way through their schooling. Um, we also have a vertical curriculum at Years 8, 9 and 10. And with the vertical curriculum, when the, the, the student and the parents are sitting down with um, the home group advisor and working out what subjects they're going to do next as part of their career development plan, um, all parties, the parents, the students and the teachers are able to look at the information that's there, the information about student attendance, the subjects they've previously studied, um, all their reports are on there from, from the minute they start in Year 7 and they're able to use that information to have a discussion about um, what sort of areas they may want to move into next in terms of careers of, of um, subject selection and, and how that fits in terms of their career development as well. Real-time student is changing teaching practice. 
It is helping to support young people make the most of the opportunities that are available to them. And it can help ensure that every student is supported by career and study advice and a pathway plan that is individually tailored, flexible and responsive.